So, let us take question number 5. Let f and g be two non constant differentiable functions if f dash x is equal to e to the power f x minus g x into g dash x for all real values of x. Also given to us f 1 equals g 2 equals 1 then which of the following statements is are true. So, we have to start with this given equation that is f dash x. So, let us write down. It is given f dash x is equal to e to the power f x minus g x multiplied with g dash x correct. Some condition is given like f 1 equals g 2 equals 1 which would be utilized later. Let us rewrite this equation as f dash x into e to the power minus f x is equal to g dash x into e to the power minus g x. Integrating both sides we simply obtain integrating we get e to the power minus f x with negative sign is equal to e to the power minus g x with negative sign plus some constant right which can be rewritten as e to the power minus f x is equal to e to the power minus g x plus say c constant of integration. Now, if we put x equals 1 and 2 1 by 1 substituting x equals 1 we get e to the power minus f 1 is equal to e to the power minus g 1 plus constant it is given in the question that f 1 and g 2 both are equal to 1. So, we can write here e to the power minus 1 is e to the power minus g 1 plus constant let us say equation 1. Moving ahead when we substitute x is equal to 2 we get e to the power minus f 2 is equal to e to the power minus g 2 which is 1. So, e to the power minus 1 plus constant of integration let us say equation number 2. Subtracting these two equations we will get constant eliminated this gives us 2 e to the power minus 1 is equal to e to the power minus g 1 plus e to the power minus f 2. This is clear. Now, e raised to the power something means always greater than 0. So, we can write here. So, we can write this equation as e to the power minus f 2 plus something is equal to 2 raised to the power e 1 means this is less than 2 e to the power minus 1. Similarly, e to the power minus g 1 is less than 2 e to the power minus 1. Taking log we can get minus f 2 is less than log 2 minus 1. On the other hand we have minus g 1 is less than log 2 minus 1 correct. Now, we finally obtain f 2 is greater than 1 minus log 2 g 1 is greater than 1 minus log 2. Now, looking at 4 options f 2 is greater than 1 minus log 2 and g 1 is greater than 1 minus log 2. So, correct answer these are option B and C. 
So, this is clear. Now, moving to the next question that is question number 6.